Hello everyone. The next in this series of three, this is the second video, and this video is on placement. Now, as with everything that I've been um, doing research on, three seems to be a recurring uh, theme. Placement also has three aspects to it. You, the surface you're writing on, the substrate, and the actual surface you're writing on. So, that's you, the paper, and the desk. It's how these three things interact with each other. Just a little note again, if you've not looked at the posture video, please look at that before you look at this, because the posture is critical as part of this video. The three things are you, the desk, the page, you, the edge of the desk, and the page. Two things can move quite easily. Of the three, the page can move the easiest. You can also move. You can move the desk if you like, but that's probably not something you want to do. And so the edge of the desk is your starting point. It's your focal point, uh, or it's the fulcrum from which you move around. You move around and the page can move around. For copper plate script and Spencerian script, I tend to suggest starting off straight ahead of each other. By sitting in this position, you can start to decide where the movement is going, to, is going to start, which direction the movement is going to, to, to have to, to, to move into. And that is, with copper plate script, you need the nib to face the axis of the script. So does that mean the nib is going to be over there? Well, you can't really see what you're doing here. So you would want the page to be over here. In order for that to happen, you would want to move to face the page. By doing so, you'd also want to turn the chair because if you have a, an odd angle underneath your thigh, it will probably affect you mentally and make you shift a little bit. So here we see the nib is facing the axis of the script. The angle of the script is issuing from the sternum at, a perp at perpendicular angles. So that's 90 degrees out of the sternum. So you need to be working here. And as you move through the page, you have three sections. You have a scary zone, a comfort zone, and a too far zone. By the time you've already made your mistakes and you're comfortably into the script, this is where you're comfortable. You might find that by moving the page through the different zones, it makes for easier writing. The other thing to consider is if this is quite a difficult angle for you to get to, then let's go back to the beginning. Now, there is a roughly 100 degrees here and 100 degrees here. So let's start from this focal point. 100 degrees here, 100 degrees here. This means that the page can turn anti-clockwise or clockwise from the horizontal. You can turn anti-clockwise or clockwise from this perpendicular line. And if both of you turning is too much, you can make a smaller turn of angles by using complementary angles. What does that mean? Well, that means that this can turn that way while you turn a little bit this way. So by using a set of these angles, you will find a position that is particular to you. You will find a position that you are most comfortable with for the placement of the page, yourself, and the table. Personally, I like to sit at the edge of the table to do this because when I do copper plate script, I like my whole arm to sit on the desk because I tend to use the muscular movement from Spencerian script to produce smoother capitals. To get this to work, I sit at the edge of the desk with one leg out of the desk and the other underneath the desk. This means that, and you have to move the chair around just a little bit, this means that I am sitting here to work. 
and for me this is a comfortable position. My non-writing arm is just resting on the edge to hold the page in place, whilst my writing arm is sitting on the muscle that allows for oval and muscular movement. It also allows me to produce a wrist movement rather than tiny difficult finger movements. There are other things to consider. For instance, you will need an arm guard because your arm, if you're not wearing a sweater or a shirt, will probably stick to the surface. The other thing that might be useful is a separate sheet of paper on which your hand can sit because your hand might also get sweaty. Some people also use a playing card just to rest under here and that allows for slightly smoother movement while you're writing. The only problem with using lots of different sheets of paper is they tend to catch on each other. And, and one of the issues with using a playing card is sometimes the playing card can be too slippery and can slip across the surface and you lose a little bit of control. So that basically um, all you really need to consider for your placement. Of course, there are other things like the angle of the paper. Some people like to work on a board that is just a little steeper. If you have a slanted board, it's probably best not to have the slant more than 10 degrees off the horizontal. If it goes this high, you will run into problems trying to write copper plate script. The distance from the edge is equally important. Don't try to write here. If you're trying to write here, you will be using your fingers. Ideally, you want to be far enough away from yourself that you can have smooth movements, that you can have smooth movements, and you can see the whole page, you can see where you're going to. Your vision is equally important. Where you're sitting, so notice, I'm sitting, but I'm not doing this to write. I'm actually just, I've just tilted my head just a little, but most of the movement is in my eyes. So my eyes have moved from here to there with a little tilt of the head. If you do this, you will be looking up under the nib, which means you will be looking at the script at an odd angle. Of course, by the time you get to here, the script would have lent quite a lot. So by the time you pull it in front of you, you'll see the script falling over. And that's, that's basically all, most of what there is to learn about placement of you, your writing substrate, and your page. Thank you.